Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new game. This is 1080 Avalanche for the GameCube. Ooh, ooh nice title screen. Yes, joining me this time is Drastic Actions. Yeah, very excited to be here. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> now, when you hear of 1080, you might think of the game for the Nintendo 64. Yeah, that's and the first indeed, that Yeah, that was a very popular game for the N64, and I played it, I liked it a lot, mm. but not many people might know that there is a sequel for the GameCube. Mm. Yeah, I did not, so... It's very exciting yeah. to see it for the first time. <laughs> it seems like one of those games where it just sort of came out and then just, I don't know, got ignored. No, it, was on, about. It, it was on the GameCube, so... Yeah, it, yeah. There were a couple exclusives for the GameCube, like this and Wave Race Blue Storm. Mm. Which, if you remember Wave Race 64, again... Do I know you? An original game that, you know, a lot of people kind of remember. And actually, these were developed by the same studio. Ah. There's just a studio called Nintendo Software Technology that's mm. basically designed only to create in-house games ex exclusively for Nintendo systems. Mm. Okay. So the characters you saw, a couple of those returned from 1080, a couple of them are new. The one we picked, I believe, is a new character. Alright. And there's five characters, five stats, all of them sort of balanced towards one stat or another. It seems relatively standard so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, loading times are nice, especially because the way that this game works is you pick, a, like, a mode. You saw I picked the novice set. Yeah. And so there were three sets. Spoilers, we'll get a fourth set after beating the third. Oh, God, But no. there's, like, novice, I think medium, and expert. Or maybe novice hard and expert. But those are four races, well, four at the start, then five, then six. But a bunch of races in a row. Hmm, okay. And so it, it was actually sort of loading the entire thing, because then the next few races will have very quick loading times. Hmm, alright, yeah. It certainly looks nice so far, I mean, in terms of graphics. Definitely yeah. a nice, nicer GameCube game. Yeah, graphics are nice. I, I am kind of wondering why they apply the blur filter so quickly. Yeah. I mean, I just, I jump yeah, just off start. the starting line and it immediately yeah. starts blurry. Yeah. So you want the sense of speed to build, not the minute you start. I could see that being an Yeah, effect. just kind of have a sense of speed. Um, so the game's got sort of all the applications of a, of a sports game and of a tricking game. You've got some tricks and you can grind rails. And Is he covered in snow or does he just have that glow always? See, there is a power bar in the top left corner. Okay. Not like a food power bar, but oh. a bar of power. I would have gotten that, that confused, so thank you for uh, specifying that. Oh, that, <laughs> uh, are we, that's it? That is We're the first what? race. That's the first that's, race. That's, like, it's a minute long, what the hell is up with that? These courses are really short. Damn. Most of these won't take longer than two minutes. Wow. And so you this, couldn't, like, do anything. Like, it was, like, there's like, I think you grinded once or twice. Like there was like nothing to do. <laughs> well, just, it was, was the first course. True. That is that. Well, that's true. Yes. I shouldn't criticize the game right off the bat. Yeah, but again, they don't really get longer than two minutes. So you'll see in this ten-minute video, I get through four courses, and that's with hanging out on the menu at the start and the end. All right. So you know, if you keep winning, you can kind of blitz through this game pretty fast. Now, so, so to answer your question about the bar, you see yeah. doing tricks will increase the bar, and I believe it's just a, a top speed improvement in general okay. if you max out that bar. So really, so really, this is just racing. That's the focus. There's not doesn't seem to be much, uh, just much else going on. It's it, this main mode is racing, but tricking will get your bar up and get you to go faster. Okay. Now, there is a special there is a special tricking event. Just okay. like in the original 1080, there was one tricking event on like one half pipe. Okay. But that's a that's a separate event. No, it's not like there are it's not like there's a different mode where you try to trick down these exact okay. courses. It, basically, it's not like SSX. No, not at all. Well, it's about half of SSX. Yeah. So, all, all the other systems are kind of there. There's tricks with you know, the other GameCube buttons, the Y button, the X button, the B button. There's grinds you could do if you find a rail. Okay. There's a, what about, like, combos? Is there a way to link them together, or is that... Is it just doing, like, a few, like one or two tricks at a time? Yeah, it's, it's just jumping and trying to do a couple tricks. Once you hit the ground, any sense of a combo is done. Okay. So it's, like, cool borders-ish, I guess? I yeah. don't know. Yeah. There's no, there's no manuals. There's nothing like that. I'm trying to compare it to games I've played, so... Yeah. 
There are a few things that are kind of different to this game than the other games you might see once this starts up. Also, you can apparently, like, get an early start and you'll see me, like, kind of lunging forward a little bit yep. and then not... T I don't know what the timing on that is, so... <laughs> it just happens. Gonna try. So a few things that this game does is you'll see in the bottom left corner the damage, bars, and the lives system. Ah, uh, okay. No, you're not going to be dying. Okay. <laughs> okay, good, that. okay. Not, yeah, it's, it's that's good. Not real yeah, this, either. This, okay. isn't, this isn't SSX Deadly Descent. Alright. Which I still think they should have gone with that subtitle, but... So, the damage bar, uh, if you have if you have a really bad crash, like if you just fall on your face, I did that like I did in the second level, you'll lose a point okay. of the damage. So you can only really fall on your face six times. Okay. There's no hurting the other racers, though. There's no, like, punching or anything like that. It's just for you. Well, if you have a full power bar, like, if it's maxed out, like you can see, yeah. you can actually come into contact with the AI and knock them over. Ah, alright. Can they do the but same you, to you? Or but you lose your power bar. I think they can do the same, but I don't see them doing enough tricks to fill it up. Oh, okay. Also, if you have a full power bar and you crash, you won't lose a point of damage, you'll just lose the bar. Mm. Okay. So it's kind of like one get-out-of-jail-free card. And then the lives, I believe, you can lose some events, but every time you lose an event, you lose a life. Ah, uh, alright. And I guess if you run out, you have to start at the very start of this whole match. And another thing, this doesn't come up in this video, but if you kind of, sort of, land a trick, kind of, sort of, don't, or if you kind of, sort of, hit a tree, but kind of, sort of, don't, your character might start to lose their balance, and there'll be a, there'll be a system where it'll show, like, the GameCube control stick and tell you to rotate that shit around really fast, like oh, you're playing right. Mario Party or something. Mm. And if you if you spin that around really fast, you can get your balance back and you won't fall over. Ah. If you don't spin it around really fast, you fall over. Okay. But that that makes sense. Very logical. Yeah, I don't have the reaction speed to usually see those in time. So now we're finally at the avalanche part of the game, I think. Yeah, yeah. At the end of every match, there is one specific track that is basically you surviving the wilderness. I was gonna say, if there was no avalanche in 1080 avalanche, you know, missed opportunity. So, I'm kinda glad it's here. Several controlled races, and then one of you versus the elements. So it actually is kind of, uh, well, what's the word? Like, doing the same thing before SSX 2012. Okay. Deadly Descents. But they were ahead of their time. Yes, yes. They were ahead of their time in one or two ways. They were just kind of sort of with the times in most yeah, other they, way. Yeah, and they were on the GameCube, so nobody played them. I mean, are you seeing anything that would really stand out? No, uh, you know, not really. Nothing, everything seems like, you could just call this snowboarding and it kind of would yeah. be a good I mean, it's hard, it's hard to screw up a snowboarding game. Yeah, let's just go down the mountain, we get a good sense of speed, you know, there's not much to it, I guess. It starts blurring immediately, but whatever, that speed, that speed game, okay. Yeah. Okay. Is the music, like, just generic, like, house and, like, rock stuff? Cause, or is this, like, licensed? Because I'm confused. For the Avalanche events, I believe, well, actually, I believe this one's just sort of a house thing, but they do get licensed music tracks uh, from, you know, all of the, not even hot bands, just kind of C-list bands of the day, like Finger <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> oh, that's Nintendo for you. That's going with the time. Yeah, actually, this game has quite a lot of songs on its soundtrack, because it has one song for every event. Ah, uh, okay. Like, if you, if you do this match over again, the same four songs will load up for the same four tracks. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> and actually... You, you, you know, so if you like the music in there, then, you know, then, then it'll yeah. be a good choice. And actually, looking up footage of this game a couple years ago is where I first discovered the band Boy Sets Fire, oh. which became kind of one of my favorite bands and then became one of Blank Tester's favorite bands. Oh, so that, oh that's cool then. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Go figure. Well, that, was, that was certainly a game. That was uh, 10 Avalanche. Oh, this will actually be done. the shortest video, because the next video, there will be five events, not four. The third video, there will be six events, and the fourth video, there will be seven events, and maybe a little something special. But it's kind of a game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, but again, you know, it's hard to really fuck up snowboarding events. So, Drastic Actions, thank you for being with me on this short, short video. Oh, no, thank you very much for having me. 
it was fun. I enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. And we'll see you guys for the next match. <laughs>